Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you a demo on how to run the uh, Spark ML Lab uh, Decision Tree program given for the Group Activity 8. Uh, so if you go inside this uh, link, uh, you can see some uh, basic stuff on how to do a, a ML Lab program and uh, some basic knowledge on what parameters that you can set for the decision tree. So if you go to the part 3, uh, you can get the program from this link. So let's paste it over here and, and you will get the uh, .zip file. So what you need to do is you need to extract this and uh, once it got extracted uh, just go inside this folder and you can see the you can see three different files one is the executable jar file and other one is the program itself uh, which you can which you can plug into a project that you create inside the uh, uh, inside the eclipse and uh, there is a readme file you can uh, you can use this for your uh, program so uh, this program was uh, basically designed uh, for only one data set that is a car data set uh, so i will i will share that uh, link to the data uh, with the video uh, or otherwise i'll i will i will update in the instructions here they have given uh, the data for action rules and mammographic mass data but uh, there is no car data uh, so anyway i'll update that instructions so what all you need to do is you need to copy this uh, jar file uh, into the into the cluster using WinSCP or the uh, or the cyberduck and uh, you need to open the you need to log into the dspa cluster uh, using putty or terminal uh, so uh, I have all the files ready so I can show here my data file that is the car data file is in the directory car data small uh, I need to go fs so I have my uh, data in this data.txt file so um, and I have moved my uh, jar file uh, into the cluster so you can see the decision tree dot jar in the win ACP. and uh, the next step is to execute the program uh, so I can use this command here which goes like uh, spark2 hyphen submit or uh, double, double hyphens class or dot ml dot decision tree private masters yarn deploy mode is client the location of the jar file is in the root node of the master node so the jar file name is decision tree dot jar and the uh, input directory I can copy from here and the output directory let's name it as um, spark decision tree output so yeah that's it um that's try with this and there is one small mistake in the command that should be double hyphens mm. so master no 
it should be on and there is a typo here now it should be good so now the execution is over um, if we go inside this spar position tree output folder uh, you can see two different set of uh, um, uh, directories uh, one is the model itself which will be in the in the in the data folder and the other one is the metadata folder which is the output of the decision tree algorithm so if you go inside this if you print the file lines you can see the basic properties of the of the decision tree uh, the accuracy of the model for a given data and the decision tree um, model uh, will be uh, printed by a program um, let's check here so this is the actual decision tree uh, for the given uh, training data and uh, this is the test uh, error uh, for, for the given model for the given uh, data set and for the given test data so all you need to do is, is to copy the entire command window and give it as a output uh, file and upload it in the canvas so uh, and also you need to get this part zero to your uh, master node so you can do like uh, users my username followed by decision free output of txt and I should use the get command. Now I should have that file in my uh, so this is the output that we got and along with this you need to submit the command window uh, text. Uh, so that's it for this video and uh, I will update the uh, instructions uh, for the car data and uh, uh, let me know if you have any other questions thank you